The thread I'm going to be using to tie the Adams is the Uni 8 in black. You could use a lighter colour if you wish, like a grey or something. I'm just going to use the black. Now, simply start to dye the hook and put down a layer of thread. I'm going to run it right down until basically the thread's in line with the barb of the hook. As I said, the materials we're using for the tail are two cork hackles. Like a natural red and a grizzle. All we need is basically just to bring the fibres 90 degrees from the stem. Looking maybe a good half dozen or so of the natural red. And again with the grizzle, the same. You want to bring them 90 degrees out and then get the tips close. But when you're bringing in your red hackle, your natural red, just bring it in and hold. Just tear it off and then what I like to do is roll these together to mix them up. Length, at least the length of the shank. Just tie it on the top. I usually do a single turn and then bring the thread underneath, underneath and onto the hook and then lift these fibres up. And then I turn to lock. And then trim away the waist. Now, Basically, you're looking to get a nice balance in your fly. And having measures like that helps. Just trim away the excess. I'm going to be quite short. Normally, if I was tying a fly, this would be a bit further up. But I'm going to form a deer hair body here. Now, I'm going to quickly run up the thread, tying in to the excess tail fibres. And then come back down this point. Now the deer here, the bark you're looking at the deer here is that this, this point, this stuff down the bottom of your tips are no use to you. To form the body you need this lovely hollow fibre which helps to float the fly and at the same time give you the right colour. Cut it as close to the skin as you can. Just try and remove any fluff or any fibre that you don't need. Now I'm going to take away most of this Come in and trim it away. Now, there's a couple of things you can actually do to save your tail. One way, and you've got, especially when you've got to trim, get some masking tape, just a tiny bit of masking tape, and cover your tail. Tear a bit off, and really just roll it around it right at the very end. Looks in the way just now. But at least it protects your tail. Especially when you go to trim your shape into the body of the deer here, using the deer here. Now what I do here is simply lay it on the top, do a couple of loose turns, and then just allow the fibres to roll all the way around. A couple of tight turns and then drop back. And another turn or two just to make sure it's not going to move. And then you repeat this, you work your way up, repeating this. Cut your deer hair away from the skin. Remove the larger or the coloured fibres and just keep the grey. Come in. Two turns, loose turns, one, two. And then allow the hair to roll round the shank. And then bring the thread through nice and tight and straight. Now that should be plenty. Now at this point, just bring your thread to the front. Now you could stack it a wee bit more, but you, there's enough deer here there. If you're tying a bigger fly, you need to really pack it tight. So just trim that away. Now get yourself a curved pair of scissors. And then form your shape. Now bring this up. And then got to be brave at this point, just come in, cut it at an angle. I like using curved scissors. And I say, if you cover your tail, say using the masking tape, it gives you more confidence to come in and trim this away. Just work your way all the way around. Now, 
Where's the date of time? The advantage of having a rotary vice or a vice, a vice that you can turn like this makes it much easier. Anything going forward here, just again tidy up. Now the underside I'm going to come in, just a wee bit more robust, come in right, make sure you get it right to the back of the hook. You want to make sure you don't cover, basically the gap of the hook, the distance from this point here down here, you don't want to cover, the more you put on, the you cover a distance between there and the point, the less chance you'll hook fish, you've got to have a good distance. Some people will actually might have that flat. Now at this point I'll work my way around just looking to see what, what I've got. And I'm quite happy with that. Now masking tape's not, it basically it'll not pull the tail off, well, it shouldn't anyway. Should have left with something, and there you are. And then you can spend a bit more time getting the taper at the back. These are very popular flies in America. That's why I get asked a lot, could I tie one? I mean I don't actually do a lot. Now if you're happy with the shape you can stop. If you want to refine it slightly you can come in. This is a fine razor blade. But be really be careful with your tail. And you can come in and put more of a taper or carrot shape into the fly. Just take your time. So watch your tail. And then I'm going to just tie it up at the back with my scissors. It's a lot of fiddling, but certainly a body like this will float forever. And it's a great body, and there you are. That's you ready for basically for putting your wings on and your hackles. So get your thread back on, run it up, get it right up tight against the deer here, and break away the waist piece, and bring it halfway back down. Then I've got my two hackle points. Now I've taken one from either side of the cape, the cape slightly curves away, so when you put the side, you've seen the underside of the feather, the good side or the front of the hackle is actually in the middle, in the, in the inside, so usually you want them to curve away. Length again, much like the length of the hook, just hold that in your finger and thumb, and then all I do is come in, pinch and loop, two or three turns. Now at this point I would check the length into the hackle. Now it looks okay to me. Now I'm going to come in here, trim away the excess. Make sure you've got a good four or five turns in there before you start to trim away. And then I tidy up. Then with the thread, come back up. Split the hackle points. Just lift them out. Bring a thread to the back. Again, any fine fibres, just come in with your scissors and trim them away. I like tying it in with the hackle fibre still being there because basically I feel it controls the hackle, it controls the, the the tips, the hackle points. And as you see, they're sitting fine. And then get your two, your grizzle and your natural red saddle hackles. Now I'm going to tie them both in at the same time, just bear away some fibres at the bottom. Catch them on this side. Run it right up close to the body. Come back down with the thread. Thread to the front. And then if any hackle stem going forward, the excess, just trim it away. And then tidy up. Now I'm going to bring the, you can bring both together, but I'm going to bring them individually. I'm going to about three turns there to maybe three times. Uh, that's about enough. That's plenty. At least two to three turns either side. A couple of turns to hold. 
Can I be your hackle? Get your natural red. And just repeat this. Go in, go one, two, three, come to the front. One, two, two and a bit. Just come up with your thread. Catch your hackle. Get three or four turns in there. Turn away your hackle point. And it remains of your hackle for your next fly. You could fold back these, which I'm going to do. There's some one or two hackle fibers forward of the eye. Just basically just draw them back, keeping the thread nice and tight, and then come in. Bring a thread from the front up. If there's any hackle fibers broken or anything like that you don't like, just trim them away. Just come in, get yourselves to trim. Keeping always keeping the thread tight. Then come in. And then a couple of it finishes, uh, two or three turns. Two, three. Turn your thread. There you are. Have a wee quick look round. There's one new fibre there I don't like. Turn it away. And there you are. And that's your Adams, or irresistible. Hopefully you like what I've done. It's not a fly I tie a lot of, or very rarely. I think I've maybe only tied half a dozen of these flies in my tying career, but you can tell me what you think. As I say, just a wee bit of varnish all the way around. Just watch, you don't touch the hackle. And then if you have some varnish in the eye, just clear it out. And there we are. And that's your Adams, irresistible. A very popular fly in the USA. Mm -hmm.